In 2007, two roommates can't pay their rent in San Francisco. One of the roommates goes to a random bar, meets a guy who needs a place to stay, so he lets him sleep on his air mattress. Everything went well, and they think, what if we got three air mattresses and rented them out and served breakfast as well? The two roommates make a simple website called Air Bed and Breakfast. Their first booking happens. Two men and one woman show up and they each paid $80. After the guests left, they thought this could be something big. They invited a former roommate to co-found and help build their website. Then they officially launched at South by Southwest in Austin. But they keep funding their company with credit cards. They called it the Visa Round. So they're in all of this credit card debt. Keep in mind, this is around the time of the 2008 presidential election. And they think, what if we sold breakfast cereal? So they sold Obama O's and Captain McCain's breakfast cereal. They got huge publicity over they made $30,000 in sales. They paid off all of their credit card debt. They applied to an accelerator program called Y Combinator. When the guy in charge heard that they funded themselves with breakfast cereal, he immediately let them in. They started making about $200 per week. Then they realized people weren't taking photos well. So they went to New York City where people were hosting on Airbnb. They went door to door and showed them how to take pictures of their home. They doubled their profits. Now they're making $400 a week. They start taking it to venture capitalists. They get rejected seven times. Then Barry Manilow's drummer rents his entire house. This was the first big house on Airbnb. Then they raised $600,000 seed round from Sequoia. Then they raised $7.2 million. And then they raised $112 million from investors, including Ashton Kutcher. They just closed a $1 billion round. Today in 2017, the company is worth more than $25 billion. And that's how Airbnb was founded. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel to see more two-minute founder stories.